everybody, you're watching the Christiana321. I am the Christiana. Recently my parents made me go through a bunch of the stuff that they've been storing at their house um, from like my childhood. And while I don't have a lot of keepsakes that I care about, um, there are a few stuffed animals, there are a few different, um, like I kept all my yearbooks, uh, I don't know, little trinkets, things that had good memories associated with them. Um, she came from last time they and they made me do this. So they just keep putting more boxes of stuff for me to go through and then like, why don't you go through your stuff? Go through it every year. Anyway, one of the things that we found uh, this time was Tales of a Second Grader by Chrissy Howard. I don't like being called Chrissy. It's not uh, something that I approve of. Um, but basically I had a really awesome second grade teacher and we had a bunch of writing prompts where we would write stories. And I remember very much enjoying writing stories as a kid. And since this year I'm planning on writing a novel, I thought maybe you would get some inspiration from what I wrote when I was like seven. I have not gone through these. I know most of them were um, based off of prompts for a year or prompts for the month or a holiday or whatever. Um, and I know that there are some illustrations that I will I will show you. Um, but I figured we'd just go through a couple of them. <laughs> uh, huh. First of all, a time capsule. My favorite subject was art. My favorite book, Going West. I don't even remember that book. It must have been whatever I had most recently read. Um, but I know later on, it's like a questionable smudge. Uh, later on, it was Ella Enchanted. I think that was my first favorite book before I read Harry Potter or anything like that, but that probably wasn't until third grade. Favorite holiday was my birthday. Favorite uh, movie, Peter Pan. Uh, favorite song, Where Do the Stars Go? Where Do the Stars Go? I can't um, I have no memory of that song, and as I was looking through, like, YouTube thumbnails, it looks like it's only sung by children's choruses and, like, church choruses. So, if my parents are watching this, do you know what song I'm talking about? Was this a song that I sang in chorus, or was this something that you guys sang to me? Where, where do the stars go? I don't know. Um, favorite food? Pizza? Still true. Favorite color? Purple? Still true. Favorite hobby? Running. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. It, what I see in my future is me being an artist. Also, that was me as like a small person. Mm, okay. Uh, so, it must have been a couple of days later, the next one, my favorite subject at school is now reading, not art. If I could go any place in the world, it would be China. I don't know why, um, but I've been there now, so check that off. When I grow up, I want to be an artist. Okay, so, stayed consistent. Um, best thing about me is I'm nice. The next best thing about me is I'm kind. And I'm really good at art. I need to improve my speed. All right. <laughs> uh, so the first like actual written prompt thing has some personal information. Um, so I, I, I won't put too much in there. Uh, I love art. Clay is my favorite thing. I am good at it. I think it is fun. I like pink. I like to eat pizza. I want to go to China and Paris. I've not been to Paris yet, so 
that's still on the list. All right, so September, um, there's a bunch of penguins. It starts off deer tacky. Is this a, a class penguin that I was writing to? I like you, you are nice, I like your cheer, I like your Hawaiian shirt, I think you are awesome. Your friend, Chrissy. So this one, um, you had to write about your pet. I did not have a pet, so I think that I was writing it about a stuffed animal. Um, my pet is named Shy. He is white with brown spots. He has a black nose. His nose is wet. Hopefully the stuffed animal's nose wasn't wet. That would be weird. There's a brown star on the top of his head. He's funny. He likes kids. He is three in human years. That, uh, that's a drawing. A spot. No, shy. Columbus Day. <laughs> so it was a prompt about Christopher Columbus. Uh, Christopher was born in Genoa, Italy. I'm on a first name basis with Mr. Columbus. Um, he went on four voyages, blah, blah, blah. 17 ships. He liked to listen and hear the sailor's stories. He lived to be 55. Funny, the, the uh, second grader didn't include what he died from. Um, oh, this was a story that we did together with my best friend Sarah. Uh, we're learning how to use a computer. We are now in the computer lab. One subject we like is ty typing. One fun thing we have done is art. We like to eat cookies for lunch. <laughs> Our pets are fish. I did have, well, technically they were my sister's pets, um, but she had fish. Uh, our favorite games are Battleship and Solitaire. We like to play. One thing we learned about penguins is they waddle. Mm. Really, really digging deep there. One thing we know about cats is they purr when you pet them. Is that true, Java? She said sometimes. One reason we like Arthur the Aardvark is he's funny. We live in Virginia. <laughs> Terrifying. What even is that? What even is that? Oh, okay. So this is the first like actual story. So this was the Otter Beast. I call this Otter Beast a basaholic. I call it this because it has almost all of the things you would need in baseball. It is many different colors. These colors it, these are the different colors, light and dark brown, gray, red, black, green, blue, and white. The basaholic eats the sand on the bottom of the sea. It can be any size. Any size. Terrifying. It has foam fingers for hair. It has the home base for a head. It has two objects that look like stick people. It just has them. His nose is a baseball. He has white chalk for lips. Uh, he has light brown bat for a body and dark brown mitts for hands. He uses them to catch the balls when he's playing baseball underwater. He has baseball hats for feet. The baseball hat feet are blue with a green outline. I had a lot of details that were color oriented. There's a brown C on them. <gasps> Did he play for the Cubs? Hmm. Catcher? Baseball hat feet are blue with a green outline with a brown C. C probably stood for Chrissy. He has no legs. He has no arms. He has baseball mitts for hands. Uh, they have a team called the Fans. The one I drew a picture of is number 15. The team has won 30 times in a row. Who are they playing against? Honestly, I'm terrified for their opponents. I feel like the reason that they've won 30 times is because like, the other team doesn't survive underwater. They like to read, too. They mostly play against the 
fish are us team. Okay, so presumably the fish are us team can uh, breathe underwater. Their favorite holiday is Halloween. They like Halloween because they can go out of the water. Oh, they're amphibious. Most of their houses are made of big rocks. They like to play with the fish. Their favorite fish to play with is catfish. Two of their enemies are... <laughs> Two of their enemies are people and bears. So this whole time I've been using they, them pronouns. But then all of a sudden I switched to it. Um, some places I used he, I think when I was talking about the specific one that I, I drew a picture of. Anyway. Um, it likes to go out to eat at 12 p.m. Is that noon or midnight? I still hate that. Um, it uses its mitts and feet as flippers. Oh yeah, he has no legs but he does have the, the baseball hat feet. Um, when it swims, it follows one of the stars. Which one? No idea. Um, then I had a nonfiction piece about white-tailed deer. They're mammals. They've got black and, white, black, and brown fur. So, again, I'm great at my colors, you guys. A piece about mollusks. Except, I, I am a mollusk. What? I am a mollusk. I will eat algae, I have a dull gray shell, I'm up to three inches, I mate throughout the year, I am found on rocky shores along the European coast of the Atlantic Ocean, when my teeth wear away, I get new ones, what am I? You said at the beginning you're a mollusk. Oh, I'm a very specific mollusk. I'm the, the common limpet. This is fun. Also, something got spilled on this. Ah, uh, okay. Here's another story about Harry the Hermit Crab. There once was a hermit crab named Harry. This is not going to be a limerick, though I wish it were. He was a good little boy, but he, but what he did not like very much was shell shopping. Then one day, Harry's mother said, time to go shell shopping. And then very quickly, Harry said, uh, I forgot something at Joey's house, so his mother let him go to Joey's house. When Harry was walking, he purposefully took a wrong turn. Ooh, Harry. He thought he took, he thought that he took turns in a different place. He got lost, so he looked for a police crab to tell him where he was. But Harry could not find a police crab anywhere. Oh, no. Then he saw Joey with a new shell. Harry thought it looked even better than, Jerry, than Joey's last one and his own. Harry said to Joey, I like your shell. Where did you get that pretty new shell? Joey answered back, I got it from Wallyford. Harry then asked, would you please help me get home? Joey and his mom then took Harry home. After Harry got home, he asked his mom, when we go shell shopping, can we go to Wallyford? His mom replied, yes, we can. Do you want to go right now? Yes, mama, said Harry. So they went to Wallyford and got him a shell, just like Joey's. Harry liked his new shell very much. The end. This is his new shell. I mean, it's very Christmassy. I like it. Uh, uh, my shell report. Something about a ghost crab. Dear Santa Claus. Um, I'm, oh, I'm assuming that this was uh, a prompt where like I was supposed to be asking Santa for this, but cause I don't, I don't think that, okay. Dear Santa Claus, I need a job. I'm a very creative worker. I can take care of people and I'm very good with teeth. What? I'm very kind and I never ever give up. I will help other elves. I love to type. I am in love 
dun dun dun. I wrote that in, but the dun dun does. I'm in love, dun dun dun, with Christmas. I am good with tools. I can make chairs and tables. I am good at drawing. I am good at sewing. I love washing things. Call me at, and then my phone number, your elf, Chrissy. Beginning of my graphic design career. If I wore magic glasses, I'd be able to clean very fast. My room would always be clean. My desk would be clean too. I wish. Winter. This is an acrostic poem. When the newly fallen snow comes, I go out to play. Now the snow melts away. The sun has come to spoil my fun. Eagerly trying to get some snow. Right then, I had to go in. Honestly, like, not a bad, bad story as far as acrostic poems go. My mom had to wash clothes for ten people. She babysat, she mowed lawns, she had to clean around the house. I guess this was, like, the chores. I had to talk to my mom about what chores she had growing up. She had to do dishes without a dishwasher. She took a, she took care of her pets. Sometimes she would cook dinner. She collected bottle caps for money. She had a paper route and worked in Illinois. All the re like good egg stuff. So my thoughts get scrambled when I get confused. That, that's what thoughts get scrambled means. I'm an expert on math and reading. I'm grade A in art. I get exuberant when art comes. I am an egghead when it comes to reading. I'd like to break out of my group and disco. No, I'd like to break out of my shell and go up and disco. What? I do not want to disco. I'm hard boiled about cleaning my room. I really, like, I still don't like cleaning. Some folks think I'm cracked because I like sunflower seeds on cottage cheese. Still true. Still true. I'm a good egg when I pay attention. I feel like I have egg on my face when I go up on stage. Yeah. Performing is not my favorite. I've got to do a performance. Not a performance. I've got to give a presentation to a big group of people um, this week. i got to write the presentation still. Yeah. I do jobs to help my mom in the summer on Wednesday. My dad used to heat up dinner. He had a paper route. He had to do homework. Oh, this is like, I guess I had to interview my dad the same. He worked at a grocery store. He cleaned carpets. He made his bed. Cleaned his room. Um, and my chores. Blah, blah, blah. My best job is to do homework. <laughs> Again, um, I had, like, I got to graphic design an art club poster. Only one dollar to join the one and only Chrissy's Arts. If you don't know how to draw, this is a place for you. You can get better than Picasso. Just call 1-800-ARTS. No to parents. Then I wrote about when I lived in California, which guess what? I don't remember. I was very young when we moved. But let's see what I remembered back then. I lived in California. I had an orange tree in the backyard. They were delicious. You could eat the peels. They are good too. I lived really close to my grandma. At my grandma's house I have lots of cousins. They liked eating oranges too. Now oranges make me choke. California is fun. You should go there sometime. Can oranges make me choke? I don't know why. That's, that's news to me. Um, it's my memory box. I, this was not good graphic design. Um, these are just like things about me. Um, my mom used to make towers of blocks with me. I love to read. I like to play Barbies. I like the Jayhawks, the, um, KU's mascot. Uh, and a picture reminds me of my dad. He's special to me. 
uh, report on China. Pandas are endangered. They celebrate 12 different years. One of them is the dragon. The year 2000 is the year of the dragon. Uh, they invented fireworks. There's a lot of bamboo in China. China is cool. The capital is Beijing. China is where you should go. It's mostly sunny there. They have an emperor there. It always, it's always raining in China. But that's just because it's a really big country. And so, like, somewhere in China it's raining right now. Um, like, even in the future when you're watching this, somewhere in China it's raining. They have lots of dances there. They made compasses there. China, no, Qin was the first emperor. Their favorite colors are red and yellow. They speak Mandarin. They wear different clothes. They use bamboo for books. Mostly, I think, yeah, I got the, the essence of China there. They also use bamboo for uh, scaffolding, which I feel like it's difficult. I tasted four types of cheese today. That's true today, too. That's not, actually. I wish I had. How much cheese did I had today? Not enough. I tasted four types of cheese today. There's four types of cheese in the fridge. I could make that true today. First, we tasted cheddar. Swiss I don't like. Mozzarella was good. Monster was okay. That's done pretty much my feelings. Cheddar was the best. Yep, I agree. Learned to make butter. I remember making better. It was a lot of fun. I kind of want to do it again. We did it in a like a thing that you could shake. I'm not gonna make hand motions. That's a terrible idea. Um, so it wasn't like that. Nope. Also not gonna make the the turning motion. Um, but it was good. Uh, a, a thing about bats. I was a big fan of bats for a while. Like. That was, that was my go-to animal. They're so cute. Uh, and then about a seahorse. There's a lot of nonfiction. I don't remember it being so much nonfiction. Um, also a lot of like um, sea creatures. We had the seahorse. We had the ghost crab. We had the hermit crab. We had the the mollusk. <laughs> yeah, I'm not showing you some of these. Ooh, TP Terrace. So there was this place in Connecticut, I think it was on the base, that was called TP Terrace. That was like a little area in the woods that you could walk to. It was um, like a bunch of rocks and trees and stuff. I don't know, let's read it and find out all about TP Terrace. I was going on a walk and I saw some trees that I wanted to walk through. I was jumping from stump to stump and in between trees when I discovered TP Terrace. There was a fireplace, some stoves, the walls weren't very big. The walls were made of rocks and stones. Rocks and stones, you guys. Just being there, I felt as if I were from World War II. It smelt as if there were still, I were still walking in the forest of pine. I could hear the birds chirping. It was so peaceful. I couldn't wait to tell my family because I had been walking with my grandma. I played with my sister there. It was fun. I would like to go there again. Would you like to go there? I would like to go there again. It's in Connecticut. Yeah. So whenever I wrote that, we lived in Virginia. So we must have, like, we moved to Connecticut after Virginia. So we must have gone up for a visit to like, do house hunting or something. I don't know. Ooh. Okay. Here is a story. So this is at the end of May, but it looks like it's an actual story, so let, let's see. Once upon a time, there was a man named Hans. He had worked for his master for seven years now. He said, I'm going to go to my mother's house. He got his pay and left. After a little while, he met a horseman. Hans offered to trade. He agreed. Hans rode off. The horse kicked him off. A farmer caught it and gave it back. The farmer said, I would like a horse like yours. So Hans traded. Now he has a cow. Another farmer with a pig came by and they traded. And on Hans went. A man with a goose came walking by. 
He told Hans that a pig had been stolen in the next village. They traded. I guess so that Hans didn't get caught with the stolen goods. Uh, on went Hans. In the village, he found a person that sharpens knives. He traded with Hans. On he went. So now Hans started with like his pay from work and now has a knife. What? On he went until he reached a well. Uh, and then at this point, it says, dictated to my sister. This looks like it was, uh, it must have been my older sister's handwriting, because my little sister would have been two or three or something. Anyway, and he set it on the side for a drink. I'm, ag I'm guessing the knife. Uh, he accidentally knocked it in. Next, he leapt for joy. He didn't have... He didn't have a very heavy stone. He ran all the way home and told his mother of his good fortune. She wasn't very happy, and that's how it happened. What? Okay, so my uh, my battery's about to die. I don't I don't have an ending for this. Like, comment, subscribe. Do you have any memories from second grade? Did you write any stories? I don't know. Good night, sweet dreams.